Maryland's governor has declared a state of emergency as flash floods ravage a town outside of Baltimore. And as CBS's Laura Podesta explains, this is the second time in two years that flooding has taken a toll on this community. Main Street was a river. Cars were nearly underwater, and rescuers risked their lives going door to door to help dozens of residents. As the town of Ellicott City, Maryland, was swamped with flood water Sunday, eight inches of rain came down in about three hours. I can just tell you my heart is broken. Uh, thinking about what the people had gone through here and the people's lives who were devastated two years ago and where they rebuilt. And now they're faced with the same daunting task again. This is video from that situation in July 2016 when the downtown area was also hit with a devastating flash flood. It was the result of a thunderstorm that dumped more than half a foot of rain on the area in two hours. Homes and businesses were severely damaged and two people were killed. They say this is a once every a thousand year uh, flood and we had two of them in two years. No one has been reported killed in this weekend's flooding, but Maryland Governor Larry Hogan said the storm appears to have caused more destruction. He's declared a state of emergency and promised residents assistance in the cleanup. Rescuers will continue checking on homes today as the water recedes. The Howard County Fire Department tweeted, If you are trapped, we are coming. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. Laura, thanks. Now, just two weeks ago, FEMA had awarded Maryland and Howard County more than $1 million to pay for projects aimed at, re aimed at reducing the flood risk in areas around Main Street.